All right, we're in the game. Immortals, 100 Thieves. Who comes out on top? And I, I think that with this attacking, I'm gonna stand by my position here, Gaskin, that attacking first for Immortals is the best possible uh, situation. I think it's. I think they'll both be happy. I think 100 Thieves will be happy to defend first, and Immortals are gonna be happy attacking first. As we are gonna see the opening two frags going in favor of Immortals, so maybe 100 Thieves aren't as comfortable as they would like on these pistol rounds. But we already saw that against FaZe. They were losing pistol rounds left, right, and center. Uh, but your boy Drake is going to be pushing up, and they are going to have to try and retake here. This is going to be a difficult in a 3v5, especially when these cages are there, the smokes are there. They're going to really struggle here, GB. Yeah. You're also going to have that recon bolt to give you some more intel. Jason Stani, though, with a kill on uh, your boy Dre. Venerated goes out, too, leaving only just pride alive, and he had a, a few just mind-blowing plays with the uh with the molly before uh, but maybe we'll be treated to that again either way though it is immortals on the attack they, they will win the pistol round with relative ease the people who fragged out are gonna be able to reap the benefits of that as well by upgrading and getting themselves some phantoms bulldogs as well for gangsta bjor and kohler now let's see what will Hunter Thieves do to try and just rip away some of these weapons here? Perhaps it could be venerated with a shorty playing inside of Hookah. Probably one of my favorite plays to make. Ah, uh, yes. The old golden boy, I don't have to aim strategy. It's uh, one of the That's best, right, baby. to be fair. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not ashamed of doing it as well. I did like the buy for this round. You can see two phantoms, as you mentioned, just the, the half armor. But this is... A way of trying to stop that third round nightmare of not having the rifles and it's a way to combat that hoping that you can keep those rifles you can win that round three oh. people burst through the teleporter your boy dre gets one onto collar thankfully for him but oh his gangster to clean up but that is always going to be scary when three people come through the teleporter like that yeah you're never expecting the three-man teleport strat <laughs> but you have to run together in these instances right you can't just uh, go and take individual fights because if you do like there's just no way that your your pistol is going to work against a bulldog here uh, statistically speaking of course venerated with the gods here bucky oh stand corrected it just he dies quickly he had to make a play i respect it they were all looking outside, waiting for him to come through the doorway. It's like the worst welcoming party of all time. One that murders you. That is yet not a welcoming party I want to be a part of, and I am terrified when you next invite me to your house. Uh, but Immortals come on now... Over, Dan. <laughs> come on over, Honestly, we're, we're fine here. Look at the, this buy. It's just so much more comfortable because of those two phantom buys in that previous round. They've got three rifles to work with. I mean... I don't count Bulldog with rifles, yeah. but I guess they caught a sort of count as well. But it's decent weaponry anyway, going into this third round. It's still going to make things difficult for 100 Thieves. So Pride backs away. Heard some of the footsteps that were going to be coming through. And players would tend to stick around inside of Hookah. But for this instance here, it, it's safer to just play behind coverage. You get some rotations to help you out. You can leave a Cypher on site by himself. Camera alone is going to give him as much info as he needs. That was a Brimstone trying to just get a little cheeky inside of the shower. And no push coming through right away, Gaskin. So you start to see uh, the rotation coming through uh, from Hiko, I believe. Who's gone back into that support role. And this is a full just wrap around by Immortals. Yeah, they're going to be ready to execute onto this A site. And this is what I was on about, like, the default strategy here. Probably some sort of wall from stage just to offer a little bit of cover. Maybe not. Maybe they're just going to confidently plant this one because they've got enough information from showers. Spike will go down. Cyber cages are there to protect them as well. Even smokes as Hiko is now going to desperately try and work his way onto the site. Venerate gets the opening onto Stanny, but Asuna will get the trade. And he's a four versus four. Hiko with a lot to do here. And Asuna does all the work necessary to give them that advantage. And Kohler's going to be right there for the pickup, too. Hiko playing around by the L-Box. Player potentially could be inside of Shower. That's why he's going to be pre-firing through there. Heard some of the uh, some more shots coming through. And because he sees that Stim, he'll know that he'll be there. But the Bulldog with Stim actually ups that firing rate and gives you a little bit of an upper hand there. 
and immortals are going to walk away with three so gaskin now we asked the question are were we crazy for going against immortals now i actually feel bad for, for going against immortals with how they've been able to play these first few rounds don't count them out just yet that's all i'll say i am a very dramatic things. person i, I mean, I, I mean that, it's literally your job to create tension and cause drama so it, i mean i think sure. that's okay you're doing well and um, it's my job to argue with Am you, I? so... Yeah, well, I mean, you're, do <laughs> you're doing okay, I guess. I'll give you a little pat on the back, but... Immortals have looked strong, you are completely right, and yeah, we probably are very crazy to go against them, but at the same time, we know what 100 Thieves are capable of, and we what we've seen from them already in this tournament is that they do demonstrate a lot of individual ability. So if players like Hiko can step up, and I'm not just going to focus on Hiko, but he's just an example, there is always going to be that chance as Showstopper's going to come through, the opener's going to be there for sooner, better rate it goes down, and now Immortals can get onto this site. Uh, everyone else was stacked, and they have rotated. They're not going to be able to get this retake if I'm completely honest, GB, but I think they know that maybe they can pick up a weapon. Maybe they can do a little bit of damage to the economy. Yeah, that's what you're hoping for uh, at this point in time. Some kills coming through, but a quick cleanup. Both teams playing a little game of follow the leader as uh, they saw the teleport and heard the teleport, and they just bulked it over uh, to the opposite side on B. That just left 100 Thieves running after them. Eco telling everyone, all right, children, follow me. And now they will be able to buy up again. Last time they were in this position back in round two, uh, round three, excuse me. Um, it was a uh, five man execute. No one died on both sides, but Asuna was just a slayer, getting himself two kills at the start and unlocking that round for Immortals. They have to be cautious of that and, and just how how this reaction is going to come here from Immortals as uh, we take a look at the other end. You got Kohler playing inside of Showers. JC Stani out here on Long. Two players are actually going to be right in front of him. All right, and just fully disengaging. And three players there dealing with just one member of Immortals. But the op at mid might actually shake things up a little bit here. Uh, gasping. There it is. Certainly shakes things up. As soon as it goes down, and that's the pick the hundred thieves needed. Orbital strike comes through, and now the push can again just focus on this default execute on A. They show a little bit of presence on B, and as soon as they have done, they move over to A. But this time the defense is a lot better from Hiko. He gets a two-man spray down. Great stuff from him. Looks for the third. He does find it. It's going to be a 3K. This round is going towards 100 thieves. Gangster's not able to do anything. 4-1. And we wow. can't write them off just yet. That is a much stronger hold. And it all comes down to that first pick with the op. They didn't have money for the op in the third round. They just had to work with rifles. But now they have a little bit of cash dollar behind them. This is maybe when we can start to see 100 Thieves have some more comfortable rounds here on defense. Gaskin, my dog was excited for 100 Thieves uh, in that one. Okay. And I don't know if you heard her in the background, but she was barking away. She was losing her mind. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe I just have Stella here just barking up like a crazy person, just rooting Hiko and, and company on. Or it could just be the fact that they played that so well and venerated with the snipe, just slaying around that corner. I believe, I believe it was uh, Asuna who got picked early on. Look yeah. at Ven downtown with the Hunter's Fury. Does do some damage, but it should be okay. That was a long distance one. JC Stani though, through the smoke. And, and that is a predictable spot to be in. So if you do go for the spray, it, it's not like it's, uh, you know, like you're, you're just guessing, right? Like, you know that someone will more than likely be located in that area. Whether or not you guess that there's going to be two players there. Oh. Valiate actually area. is going to pull away with two on that one. I love that play from Valier as well. Just popping down the cyber cage, making them think he had crossed and he was still on the same side. Venerate gets the third. Valier picks up a third of his own. Now it's just going to be the one remaining player, Gangster, just here on B-Long. I think he probably knows this is going to be a very tough ask, but at least he's got a drone to work with. He can get a little bit of information here. But by this time, everyone has rotated towards that B site. And he doesn't have the spike. So he's just going to hopefully maybe play for exits. Does he go for it? I guess the Mortals have got a decent amount of money 
to work with here. But yep. there's the perfect camera coming through. We see it from the other side. 4-2, 100 Thieves. Weapon. Again, just showing how important the op's going to be. But I put that down to the smart Cypher play. Threw down the Cypher cage. He'd already seen one of his teammates sprayed through smoke. Tried to suggest he had crossed. Didn't cross, and then caught them off guard. Never doubted 100 Thieves, man. Never did. I mean, I think your dog had more belief in 100 Thieves than you do, but I will allow you to backtrack <laughs> for now, and then when Immortals inevitably win some more rounds, you'll be like, yeah, I see, I told you Immortals were better, Dan. That, it's almost as if we've known each other for years, <laughs> but yet you're still deceiving. Uh, no, it's... I, Immortals, though... Uh, that opening was just great, and uh, but I, I think here you're you're starting to see this confidence begin to come through for 100 Thieves, for Venerated. Actually, uh, I, that was going to be a challenge through. Venerated got the kill. JC Stani, he threw Cyber Cage down and charged through the shower and just paid dearly for it. Your boy, Dre. That's going to be two for his efforts, leaving just Asuna left alive here. A 1v3. A player located by Market. Did see him and just all those cyber cages out, slowing down any kind of push. They, they just know wherever Asuna is going to be located. But Asuna does have Spike Gaskin. It is not out of the realm of possibility. 40 seconds ish left to work with. Maybe could pull something out here. He's got a Spike. The opposition raise is also weak. Cypher's been tagged up a little bit. Yeah, this this is certainly doable. Has Boombot to work with, or as Hiko calls it, his own child, which I also made me laugh. You call it Gary? Okay, yeah, everyone's got their name. Well, um, I like Hiko's child, but venerates it. <laughs> He's there waiting for Asuna. And Asuna's been on the receiving end of that op a couple of times now. It's probably going to get pretty tiresome. Um, but 4-3 and 100 Thieves very much back into this. And if they can start to string together even more, they can make this a comfortable half. Because, as I mentioned before the game, I feel like they really need a good defensive half if they can have any chance in this map. Because they're not going to be as good attacking. Yeah. Oh, I didn't um, know I made it into the game. Is that a goat? Okay, let's get set up. I think that's a sheep. <laughs> Did you know the plural of sheep is sheep? <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, well, back into the action we go. Pride pushes out long. I'd like to invest a few players here to obtain the orb. And mission accomplished there. They will uh, back away. Ults online for Immortals, though. They have plenty to work with. Cypher, Raze, as well as Sage. High impact with that Raze, too. Watch out for the op, though, as Venerated captures Kohler right where he wants him but Bjor actually with a specter gets two kills and then asana sends a rocket through the crack like just threading the needle practically with the kill and boy how this round just changed pretty much in a heartbeat only player left alive will be valiate and a 1v2 very winnable here spike is down let's see how valiate will be able to work around this he has a lot of guns uh, left at his disposal, but only 33 HP. Health, it is the definition of the struggle. And the struggle is real. JC Stani gets another kill, or just gets a kill, excuse me. And that is going to lead to a critical round win for Immortals there, Gaskin, that they needed because they gave up three in a row. Yeah, and their money was starting to look a little bit tricky as well. Um... Always interesting at the end of the one versus two as well, seeing someone pick up the op, but I think he recognized his health total was low, so he wanted to either gamble and hope to hit a two for one, or just be able to catch someone off guard and just hit that instant bullet to a body, and then maybe he could have swapped out if he had been able to uh, pick up the kill, but of course, yeah. it's 2020, and uh, we move on into the ninth round. And again, a little bit of presence shown everywhere for Immortals. They try and get the spray down through the smoke. They try and get the early picks. Hunter's Jury comes out from Venerated. Ooh. He has found the early kill so many times, and he does it again. And onto the Sage as well. So that's always going to be important. No heals now for Immortals. No heals, nor no wall, right? They're not going to have the wall. So if they did decide to maybe go for a, a short A plant, they can't do it now. 
because they won't have that protection. They can still use the smokes from the brimstone, but you won't get that added protection that the solid wall will provide for you. They are going to split things up, though. After losing their teammate, now looking to uh, start to strike here on A, prompting some rotations to come in. Venerated does have this op in heaven, waiting for anyone to try and push out, but there is going to be an op on the other side as well. Very common smoke here to just block that vision. Venerated not going to be much of a factor here, but what will be a factor is the orbital strike slowing them down and actually splitting them up. JC Stani is going to be split up from the rest of his teammates. He has been identified, and Hiko is going to pop him with a few satchels, leaving only just one person left alive. It's Asuna, and even though gets the shot, it's Venerated, who also was there for his squad member, and 100 Thieves manage to get a fourth round. I think Venerated is a, playing a huge part in this. So we can call it somewhat of a comeback from 100 Thieves, just his ability with the op. I mean, he's on 11 frags. Like, of course, Asuna is doing a similar job on the other side, but Asuna does have the showstopper to work with. We've seen her pick up two kills with that. And uh, honestly, if Venerated can keep finding this opening frag, then I think 100 Thieves will be able to comfortably pick up maybe two more rounds. Yeah. I think I think they'd be happy with six. They would they would rather have seven, obviously. Um, but when you look at a, an eight? opening half like this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when you look it, at an opening half like this against Immortals, against someone who does have a playbook, who are confident at attacking, they should be happy with five, six rounds. Well, if they got eight rounds, man, it'd be defying the limits. That's what Valorant says, right? Imagine, yeah, dude. Now it's Valiate who actually will have an op. Pride gets two kills. Spike down at long. This is prompting some rotation from Gangsta. But that was just a, a, as quick of a round as it started. Uh, they were on that eco, granted. But that was just a, a quick wrap up there. 5-5 five, five and a count. 100 Thieves are going to be able to tie this bad boy up. Never doubted them. Not a moment did I ever doubt this team and what they're capable of. I mean, Low. you did actually predict 100 Thieves to win. I mean, as much as you're memeing about it and you went you went back on your initial prediction and now you're now going back on your back on your prediction. It, it's That's strange me, what man. you're going through in your head right now, but it's okay. Just because I make a prediction doesn't mean I stand by it. Something you guys should know about me. Oh, oh that's, that was nasty. Here's Asuna. Oh, doesn't get a kill though, but it does a ton of damage there to the Sage. And the Sage has to bail. The nade's going to be sent down. I think the Sage is playing inside of the site there. So the coverage is going to be so vital in that instance. But Asuna pushes forward. What a shot there. Two headshots to boot from his teammate Kohler too. Only leaving two players left alive. Hiko got a little bit of intel because of Child. And got a headshot. Now looking for another one right through. Gets the kill on JC Stani because he got the tag. It's going to give them a bit of, 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 a, of a, not want to say a leg up, but it may be an opportunity for them to make something out of this round. But boy, what a crazy shot there. Having that Sova left alive, so important in this instance. They still have a little bit of utility to work with, which is why they're just trying to check all the nooks and crannies, but they're slowly running out of time. Recon Dark comes out just to try and get any of that information. They're going to push onto the site. Hiko gets a third, but he is going to be traded out. Now it's all down to Venerated with this op. He's run out of time. Might be able to get an exit, which he does. Can he get another? Well, it doesn't matter. The bomb does the job for him. Spike goes off. 6-5 Immortals will pick up the round. Uh, but for 100 Thieves, unfortunately, they just weren't able to stop the sheer aggression of Asuna. 13 frags for him now. When you've got a player like that who's on a raise, when they have that ability to just push with the showstopper as well, with that mm -hmm. confidence, then it just strikes fear into the enemy eyes. Yep. And they just ran. <laughs> they, yeah, just they just ran, ran and they gave up the site. Literally the definition of a W key is just what they did. They just pushed onto site. I mean, that's Raze in a nutshell, right? Uh, not to say that Raze doesn't have uh, just a, you know, a certain skill to her, right? Uh, her, you, you just have to be insane, you know, and, and you just have to be crazy. That's clearly what Asuna is here. So last round in the half, these two teams and Valiate is going to get that first blood on the Asuna. A huge pickup there, given how impactful Asuna has been for Immortals on the attack thus far, leaving them without their uh, their entry. 
when you look at the rounds that 100 Thieves have won, so many of them have become because they were able to take down Asuna initially. I mean, Asuna is the entry frag, so it is going to happen off a, often. For you. But now, Immortals are going to have to reconsider how they approach this round as they start to trickle their way towards the B site. They had a little look into A. Three members of 100 Thieves are there. But moving towards B site always makes it difficult because there is going to be a Cypher. The camera is going to be there watching B long. Brimstone is there to have any sort of de defensive smokes as well. 100 Thieves do have two ultimates to work with. They've got the Showstopper available for Hiko if he needs to use it. It is the last round, so expect to see it coming out at some point. That's right. Here we go. The push is going to come. They only have a little bit of time left remaining here. Pride's going to be tucked away in the corner. Pride with two. Can't get the third, but the job has certainly been done. Only a few seconds remaining. Valley, it's going to be on the outside. And here comes the boom. Could get blown up here by Hiko any moment. And there it is. Hiko exploding onto JC Sunny, ending the half in dramatic fashion. And this will be all tied up. Six to six as we switch sides. But there was uh, uh, some life there uh, for sure for Immortals at the tail end of this one. It was going to be tough no matter what. You mentioned it, the Cypher. There was so much that they were going to have to get past. And then Pride with the, with the two-piece getting that angle just was the icing on the cake. When a Cypher sets up that successfully with their traps, with the Cyber Cage and you're just dropping into him, and you've got a teammate crossing with you, I mean, you're just going to drop like flies. And it was a very successful defense. Obviously, the most success that Immortals found throughout that entire half was on the A site, but because they lost Asuna early on, they didn't feel like they had enough firepower to burst onto the A site this mm -hmm. time. They couldn't go for the default. So they just tried to switch things up, but unfortunately, 100 Thieves were wise to it. But now we're going to see 100 Thieves on attack. This is what we wanted to see. You were saying that you felt like Immortals benefited attacking first, it's all going to come down to whether 100 Thieves have enough going forward. They had that mammoth of a game on Bind when they played earlier against FaZe. It was the 13-12 that unfortunately they ended up losing in overtime. They won't want overtime here. They will want to be able to close this one out and move on in this bracket. This has been uh, quite the game so far. Both teams have been laying it all out there. It is a best of one, do or die. What you're seeing here is what you are going to get. Kohler with a headshot immediately onto Venerated. He was an impact player in that last half, but perhaps it could be some of his other teammates that are stepping up here. Valiant Pride and locate two kills of their own now, leaving it into a 3v2. Spike is down. Advantage uh, with the spike down for 100 Thieves, but the numbers advantage will be for Immortals. Sending in the boom bot right inside of showers. They know exactly where these two players are going to be located. They can comfortably go in for this. The spike. Throws don't fake. Hiko, though, wrapping around to the challenge. Oh, my oh. goodness gracious. Even though they lost a round. Oh, oh, my. He puts himself within two of his ult in the early game. Maybe could be uh, could be explosive. Haha. <laughs> Pun intended. That felt like a game of hide and seek when you're a kid. When you're hiding in a really good spot and then someone comes and joins you and you're like, man, why have you got to, why have you got to steal my spot and like just wrap me out here? They didn't know Hiko was necessarily in showers, but then as soon as he was joined by Pride, they got that information, the boom bot went in. But then, because the boom bot only spotted one, you saw the sudden look away from showers. They assumed that maybe Hiko wasn't in there. Maybe Hiko had rotated all the way around and it was so close. If he had hit that headshot twice, he could have won that round. But, uh, that is the power of Hiko. And now Hiko's child will go on a search into Hookah. And we'll find uh, nothing. nothing found. Yep. No, but they are going to find an empty space and all five of them are ready to push onto this site. Blowing him down. Hiko flies right into the site. Will be picked up from the sky. And that was just as quickly as it happened. Just like what we saw a few rounds ago. Asuna will now have the ult. The showstopper. You know, a little sweet chin music, perhaps. Is it spelt with an A at the end? No, it's Showstopper, but, you know, I'm from okay. New York, so we just say, Hey, hey, yo, what you That's doing fine. over there? Just you wanted know? personal clarification for my That's own well-being and, and thought fine, process. Daniel. Because I thought I'd just been saying it wrong, but clearly I'm not as cool as you. So it, it's okay. Yes. I, if there's one thing that everyone can identify with the Golden Boy brand, it's cool. <laughs> for sure.
for sure. Shouldn't you say faux show? No, we're not getting to that. Faux show. Um, you already no. know, baby. For show. No, anyway. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, don't don't bother me with a good time, you know what I'm saying? Anyway. <laughs> All right, well now. We got Hiko. Childless, unfortunately, but <laughs> I think he uh, it will never get old. It will never ever since he started calling it his child in the stream. As he then uses his satchels rather than his child to take down Cola. And Hundred Thieves have the advantage. This is the round. This is where they show what they're made of and what they offer when they're attacking them. Yeah, and they're gonna have to go real fast here. Three players gonna be on the rotation from the defender side. Gangster goes down. They can hold this thing off. They obviously do not have that intel. Maybe one more kill could actually be it. He goes spamming through the smoke. The three players of Immortals have managed to get inside, but the spike is now going to be down. Venerated back in familiar territory with that off. And it's your boy Dre with two ending the round, bringing them within one of Immortals. One step closer to tying this game up here. Man, Asuna's 18 and 12 currently. Just high impact fragging from Asuna so far. A bit of a spread always... for Venerated and Hiko. And Venerated has just been unbelievable with that op, Dan. He has. Uh, I was going to say, you have to, there's a rule of thumb with Raze. I feel like you have to subtract by, like, I don't know, three. Um, just because you get free kills with the Damn son. Might, might, no might, chill in these streets. Think. There is no chill. No chill whatsoever. But to be fair, actually, the, the kind of threading of a needle showstopper shot that Asuna was able to get in the previous half was pretty sublime. So I, I'll give him that plus one frag back. Um, alts down. being ready, well, both showstoppers available for two big impact fraggers. So we'll see whether it is going to be utilized by Hiko here to get onto a site. We certainly saw Asuna doing a lot of that when they were on their attacking half. I'm sure Hiko doesn't need to learn from an opposition team, but it will be there and available for him if he would like to use it. Venerated gets them. Just a lot of info. Two players are going to be located on site. They know exactly what he's packing over by Long. And just look at the way that he goes just scouting over yonder by market side. Slow play here. As we hit around 45 seconds remaining. Now it's going to be Asuna's turn. Goes in there for an ambitious rocket, but actually doesn't get anything for it. No one was going to be located there, and, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't. In that instance and situation, Bjor, slow orb inside. But As Asuna gets a kill on Valley 8. And it's Pride, actually, who answers right back, and just the frags coming out of Hookah. So well done. JC Stani was inside of the cubby there. Venerated had his back. They get that res out. Plant is successful. And now let's see. How 100 Thieves can potentially bring this one back. Two players left alive here. They're going to be located over by the elbow, and they have all the guns pointed in that direction as they try and just split up Gaskin to look for any kind of pick that they can get. Five players left alive for 100 Thieves, and a lot of them are going to be banged up, bloodied, and bruised. They might be able to get out of this relatively unscathed, especially with Venerated hitting shots like that. And it just leaves Gangsta all alone. Not a lot of just money there, but had to just go in for the kill, get something for the effort, and we're all tied up. If you are a 100 Thieves fan, start booting your Venerated Shrine ASAP because he is who you need to be praying for right now because he is hitting shots. He is the man that can really make a difference with these opening picks. And his post-plant positioning with the op has been fantastic he's not afraid to peek with it he's not afraid to get somewhat aggressive with the op as well which is always dangerous with an op player but it also if they succeed of course it is going to be um a very beneficial thing to have for an op player as well he goes yeah. starting to pick up the frags as mm -hmm. expected and 100 thieves are starting to look a little bit scary here so this is definitely game oh. on as venerated again will find the opening pick yes okay immortals are going to be on the eco round but still he gets the information he gets the pick and it gives 100 thieves that confidence going into this round but there, this wasn't just on the attack venerated venerated was doing this on the defense he he's been doing this this entire game and in best of one for venerated to prop, pop off like this this is th this is the best case scenario that this team can possibly have here they have a man advantage. Spike is going to be down. This is looking like a 9-8 in favor of 100 Thieves. 
Gonna try and play around with uh, one another here and frag for each other. What a shot on your boy Dre. The sheriff is in town. Gonna even the odds now, but is it gonna be enough? You got players located in shower. Watch out though for the two young lads in the flank. You have Asuna with the nade now. Gonna chuck that one over toward the side inside of the cubby, forcing that player to back away. A few more frags starting to come out in their favor now. They're losing a lot of this. They can actually, well, I would say just Asuna is going to be the last one left alive, but it does get a gun for the effort. I did like that when you said young lads, you put on a slight British accent. I feel like it's the word lads maybe isn't a mm. normal word for you Americans. So you definitely went a little British there. I appreciate yeah, yeah. that. But at the same yeah, time, I would like to think that I'm a proper bloke, you know? <laughs> Maybe I should be insulted. I don't really know how I feel about it right now, but I'll let you know a little bit later on. Either way, that round was pretty much a write-off. We knew that Immortals were going to struggle because it was an eco and because of the early pick. Uh, but 20 frags for Asuna, 16 for Venerate, 15 for Hiko. They're the three players that are on fire right now, but everyone else is playing their part. They are positioning well. They're getting the information. They are smoking off accordingly. We've got a really spicy matchup now. Like, I, I was concerned that maybe this could be a little bit of a blowout if Immortals were able to run away with things, but 100 Thieves are here to play. Yeah, it was certainly looking like that. This team has gotten a lot of confidence together in a very short amount of time. Another player with confidence is Asuna. An op kill onto Valiate. Give them that man advantage. They'll have to just reposition now. No res as well to pick up their teammate. And that was also, uh, you know, that was a big loss because you had Cypher ult online if they were able to get a kill. That just is all the information necessary for them to be able to execute a plan properly. And Gangsta just droning out like in some kind of YouTube video on the uh, A site here. But isn't going to get anything out of this one so far. And they're properly just slowing them down inside of showers. Very slow, very patient, but now they've got to do something. The smoke's come down. Are oh, they going to roll with it, though? It looks like they're being held back ever so slightly. Hunter's Fury will come out. There is going to be a Molotov. That's why they haven't been able to burst out of showers. Oh. Gangster picks up one onto your boy, Dre. And now they will come out of the showers. And, well, then it goes down. So does Hiko, and it is not a clean entry onto the site. It's just going to be pride there for 100 Thieves. Does have the spike. Is going to try and retreat towards B here. Thinks he's going to be followed. Doesn't have the time. That's going to be the round going to Immortals. Yeah, and he's just waiting for anyone to try and go through the TP room. And uh, it ain't going to happen because no one around there heard that. Well, actually, I don't think that they would have heard the door even if he came through it. But smart enough just to kind of hold your ground, stand your, you know, just chill out where you were and just get that win. Don't give anything else up. 9-9 nine, nine in the count here. Best of one territory in the loser's bracket. Winner will move on, and I believe, if I'm correct, looking at the bracket, they will await the winner of Sentinels and FaZe Clan. That is, uh, I think, is it going on right now, or? I believe we might actually be watching it, possibly even casting it, GB, after this wow. one, as Venerated takes down Asuna, wow. which is the frag you need. Owen Wilson would be very proud right now. Asuna gets res, but your boy Dre takes him down straight away, so Asuna's just feeling tallying up those deaths for no reason. And now 100 Thieves will still have that man advantage. There is an orbital strike available for the Brimstone, though, so they do need to be careful. They don't want to just bunch up too easily and make this very successful ult for the brim i think they have a, a thought that the sage was playing by port so they're just gonna drop back they pulled a lot out of that they got a res they got a wall out i think they even got a slow orb and a cyber cage they just removed all kinds of utility on uh on long on b long so now they're going to set their sights on a site and you also saw that they were immortals was actually going to be preparing that orbital strike here comes the push though there goes the orbital strike forcing them to have to actually push around and they don't commit to it in fact they go through the portal while all that was going on and then the kills are coming in though from the shower 
And this has just kind of been a very unorthodox situation that they have managed to find themselves in. JC Stani gets a kill inside of the cubby, but he's going to be banged up. 59 HP. Last player left alive. Seconds on the clock for them to make this play. Gets one kill. Looking for the second. You got to make the move here. You got to go for it. And it's venerated. The superstar of this game gets the kill and locks down the 10th round win for 100 Thieves. You see, all the 100 Thieves fans, they've been lighting the candles. They're praying to venerate, venerate and he's dude. getting the job done. That was squeaky bum time though. That was terrifying. I thought that JC was probably going to pull that off. If he maybe had gone for an aggressive peek, but he was probably expecting the two-man push. The fact that they pushed one by one blows my mind, but they still were able to get the round, so I'm not going to honk on about it too much. 10-9 now. 100 Thieves. Just a few rounds away from taking this game and heading further into this bracket. As he go. We'll just send out for some information. There is members in the shower. Maybe he wants to join them for a little wash. <laughs> oh man. I just I just wasn't ready for that, honestly. I really wasn't. That's okay. Child has been useful though. You know, every round too. Every round. He's just been getting intel in showers and was just always aware. And just and it's venerated again, man. Venerated is just uh, he's absurd, really. He's absurd. He's got two kills here. It, it's it's now forcing all these guys to just rotate back. A site's gonna be available for free. Yes, they have a camera on site. But so long as they continue to hang around here, man, they're just gonna keep on putting the fear in immortals. And now they're gonna just start to move because they got the they 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 heard the comms. He goes like we 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 succeeded, we won. Mission accomplished. We're inside of a site. Let's put this spike down and get us one step closer to moving on in this bracket. But Immortals, not quite. Let me see, actually. It seems like they are not going to be committing to it. So, yeah, I think because they their economy, yeah, no, I was going to say, their economy is in shambles. So they just, they just can't afford it. We'll get them next time. Is the message communicated throughout the Immortals roster? Not only is Venerated just playing insane and getting these like amazing opening frags he's taking down asuna consistently mm -hmm. and asuna was the, the troublemaker on the immortal side he was the one who was getting the entries when they were attacking like he is one of their power fraggers so the fact that he is being wiped out of the the round so early makes things so difficult for immortals pride is going to try and do something with a little bit of a spray down just in case he catches anyone on site they're going hunting here 100 thieves they want to see if they can catch anyone out but it doesn't look like Anyone is going to bite from the Immortals roster as we go to 11-9. And there is a little bit of money to work with. But they Do they... Okay, this is the question. Do you force up around the two rifles in an op or do you save for the next round? All their money is decent enough that they all have a full by next round. So I imagine you just... You, you take the pistols at this point. But do you give a gun to Asuna? If you're Collar here, do you swallow your pride and Race, say, all right, Asuna, I mean, you've been top fragging. Have a rifle. I I think uh, I think the way the angle that Asuna's playing, and also the fact that Asuna does have an ult, is it, it's it's a similar situation to like Jet when when Jet doesn't have an option. Her ult, at the very oh, least, uh, is going to be on. enough to either a give her a weapon or just be strong enough for herself to use. And JC Stani, unfortunately, is going to die over by the B site. So if they were to use it, that would probably be the instance where they would have to. Now, Gangsta, he has to lock down this, and they know exactly where he is. He has no choice but to back away. Op is going to be located on A. And just wait to bait out that shot. They're going to wait for these smokes to disappear in front of them, and then the smokes of their own can come through, and they will actually just push through these smokes they're not going to go through the flames though they will wait they are going to be hesitant they know they don't need to force it because they have the extra man this is very smart from 100 thieves they back off they rotate and look no one is at b right now the counter rotate is coming through from immortals they are going to run into a couple of cypher traps they are going to come into some resistance do they double back again do they have time that's the real question yeah i don't, I don't know if they necessarily have time here that frag from Asuna is going to stop this, and they have to commit onto this site. Time is going to be ticking. 
Austin and now flying up. Boom! Gets one onto your boy, Dre. Looking for maybe another target for the Phantom. Locates it right through the wall. No time remaining. And the gamble has certainly paid off. Asuna did not have to pay for that gun. We'll walk out of that. But they did lose Gangsta's uh, op there. Did they get it back in time? No, they didn't. Because Gangsta died right at the end. So the op is gone. The op is gone. And that's going to be somewhat detrimental. But at the same time, I mean, that was a huge round from Immortals. I thought it was a very clever decision from 100 Thieves to just back off from A and head towards B, but they didn't really leave themselves enough time for any damage control. The fact that they entered the site with only, what, 20 seconds remaining, it meant if the bomb carrier, the spike carrier was killed, then they weren't going to be able to plant, and it was a risk that just didn't pay off on this occasion, and once again, the showstopper showing why it is one of the most powerful ultimates in the game right now. As Immortals get their 10th round, but still... A very healthier looking 11 at the moment for 100 Thieves. And dare I even consider a potential overtime again? It is possible. It is possible. It depends on what they invest into this round. I feel like if uh, Hiko decides to pop Showstopper, this is, uh, this is looking like it, it, it could very well be a round for 100 Thieves. That said, though, it's... I do like how they play for this intel, you know? They'll, they'll, they'll just try and get inside a shower, cause a few problems. Now the Cypher's going to be all by himself. And JC Stani hasn't been having the best of games. So you're going to be able to isolate him and then get that kill. This is going to be this long push now. Has this become too predictable now? They made the noise into showers and then we've instantly seen the rotate from Immortals, but then we get the now double bluff. They've teleported. a site just has the Cypher. They can go through the showers. They've done all the plumbing in that area now. They can move out. It's fixed. They take the site and it's going to have to be a retake from Immortals. Valiant exactly takes down JC, so that's going to be the opening. Cypher's ultimate can now be utilized. They've got all the information they need. Surely this is 100 Thieves round. Or so you would think because two kills now come through for immortals they will be tied up as far as man count is, con uh, is concerned I just as i say that pride nails a headshot there goes another one of those mollies there the wall is out bjor is just gonna have to go for the play and just charge on through the smoke they should be hearing the footsteps and that is going to give them match point game point they could be moving on here against immortals in this best of one in the lower bracket is this it for the immortals well, when you look at the money for Immortals, I see a Sheriff that's been purchased. The two Ops are available, but one of them is just going to be half armor. JC's not going to have the money to buy either. Gangster is at least going to be able to full buy here. Should be able to have enough for most of his abilities as well. So, Immortals are going to be short of abilities, short of ultimates, whereas 100 Thieves have plenty of money, they've got plenty of weaponry, and they have the Resurrection available for them as well. Asuna needs an early pick here. Yep. Will snipe Hiko's child, oh! but Hiko sends the child in first and then punishes Asuna. And we might be looking at potentially the final round here, GB. The child giveth, nor may it, may it never taketh away. I don't know what any of that means, but I stand by the statement there. Oh! Around this and Kohler gets two! He gets exactly two with the Sheriff! Oh my goodness, that changes the complexion of this game entirely. Now they know exactly where they're going to be located. They're just going to have to drop back. And I know it, it, it sounds a little crazy, but they just they just locked up some guns. I can't believe he was able to do that. It's whether 100 Thieves feel like this is a resurrection possibility. It's so risky going into showers right now, so they're probably going to hold off. I mean, they're trying to get any any information possible with the Sova. But look at the entire Immortals roster. They don't want this resurrection to happen. They are all bundled up in the showers. They are passing around the shower gel at this point. The shampoo is being shared as well. Have I done enough bathroom puns at this point? I don't really know, but only 25 seconds left to find out. Well, you know what? They're going to have to get in there right now. Get the rubber duckies. Find yourself a... Uh, I don't know. Shamp... So, anyway, it doesn't matter because what matters is that Immortals have locked this thing down. And when everything was against them, 
backs against the wall. They lost Asuna early on, and we thought this could have very well been it. It was Kohler Whip 2 with the Sheriff. And now they have some guns to work with. Economy's still going to be hurting a, 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 just a tad. But so on the other end will be 100 Thieves. Maybe we see an OT round. I don't know. We do have some ultimates online here uh, that are going to be high impact ultimates. The Hunter's Fury, as well as the Orb Orbital Strike. Gaskin, I'm... I'm at a loss for words here, man. Maybe that's for the best. I mean, it's all Kohler as well with the uh, the double bubble with the Sheriff. I cannot stress enough how huge those kills were. Is that another shower reference? I mean, I, I don't bubble. want to make too many because I feel like I threw you off with the amount of shower references I made. It was incredible. Um, so I, I, do, I do apologize. but um, I, I like being thrown off. It, it helps me out. Keeps me on my toes. It's how we learn and how we improve. But Hiko has honestly dominated this area of the map throughout the entire game. And he's been able to gain so much information there. But Gangster oh. gets the opening onto Hiko as I say that. And that is going to be massive. Orbital Strike will come out both sides. Pride gets the kill though. And that's going to be two down on the side of 100 Thieves. Resurrection is available. And it is the last round for them to use it. Of course, ultimate abilities reset as you go into overtime. Yeah, and by the time that your boy Dre is going to get over there to pop that res, they're only going to have about like 30 seconds left to actually begin to work around this. They still don't know. They haven't properly cleared out the showers yet. So mission accomplished. They have been able to do so. Your boy Dre, because he, he doesn't have the wall to be able to get the res either. He's just going to have to go for it and get sniped just like that. Pride is going to be up and alive, though. Possibly burning from that Molotov, but the smokes are out. JC Stani right through the wall. We could be going to overtime here, folks. Two smokes are going to go down. 13 seconds remaining. They got to make a play. Is Venerated going to be the playmaker that they desperately need? Valley 8 does go down, and this is looking real bad here. But now it boils down here to 1v2. Oh no, a 1v1, but Asuna from behind gets the win. We're going to OT. Oh, and overtime in Valorant, I mean, it's just one round. And after 24 slugged out rounds, like, I want to see more, Alex. I'm going to be completely honest. Please, Riot, give us some form of different overtime. So it's not just one round. I know they've said they've work they're working on it in the patch notes. Ah, oh, what a game this has been. Oh. Dude, I'm just, I don't even, I don't even know, man. I don't even know. This is, this has been, this has been incredible. Top to bottom, folks, this has been a, an outstanding game. If you have not been entertained, entertaining, entertained, I can't say things because it's too dang late and I'm old. But if you haven't been entertained by what we've been seeing here for, uh, all day from the T1 Street Gamers Valorant Showdown, you have to be, you're crazy. You're crazy. This has been some stupendous Valorant that we've been seeing thus far. The largest prize pool for a North American professional tournament. The kickoff for NA for the Valorant Ignition Series. And it all boils down to this for both of these teams here. 100 Thieves, a roster that came seemingly out of nowhere and Immortal, the squad, looking for that huge opportunity to be able to establish themselves in the upper echelon of professional Valorant. But now the attacking team 100 Thieves make their way inside of sight. They have those smokes down. They got to get that spike out too. Venerated looking for the shot, but I think it may have gotten clipped by the wall there just as I said that. No one has died just yet. The advantage slightly goes to 100 Thieves. Going to have a little bit of a roast inside of who, uh, inside of Lamps, excuse me. This Kohler's waiting on the outside. Venerated is going to do the thing he's been doing this whole time and unlocking this game up. Valiant and Pride get two, leaving just Bjor and Asuna left alive, but they get themselves two kills as well. He's going to come up through a short, sending out Gary. Does Gary give him what he needs? Maybe it's going to be the grenade that actually locks down that kill and Asuna gets it. Oh, and the wall's out. The wall's out. It just leaves Venerated by himself. And they actually have Hiko on the other side and they get the kills. Immortals, I cannot believe it. Immortals have been able to lock this thing up and they're moving on to the next round. Oh my. How have they been able to do that? The fact that the post plants were there, all five members were available, but the retake was absolutely insane. I mean, Asuna picking up some of the biggest frags so far 
in this tournament just by being able to push that confidently onto site. Yes, okay, you've got so much utility as Rays, but the shots were on point as well. 29 frags in the end for Asuna. I mean, let's not discredit Venerated and the rest of 100 Thieves how well they played in that game. And it's a real shame that it comes down to just that one round. But wow, what a game it was. Another 13-12 on Bind. I don't know what it is about 100 Thieves, but they just seem to love going the distance. Uh, but I think they should be proud with that performance. Considering yeah, they, that, should. they should. Considering that uh, Immortal should be the better side.